Hello, good afternoon. My name is Kevin Devejoglu. I'm the Managing Director of Beamsur International. Today, we'll be talking about how to work remotely, digital, with the help of our so-called EVA electronic business automation platform, and how it'll be interacting with uh, SAP ERP systems. So there are uh, many things to cover today, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to jump to the subject. Uh, by the way, let me start by uh, sharing my screen and in detail about working from home and remotely. Today I have my colleague Sidney, I have Sam Watt, he is our previous software engineer from our engineering team, he is with us. We also have Noman Jebeji from our uh, IBA product management team, he is our IBA consultant. So together we'll be talking about working remotely and working digitally from home or from on the go, for example, even if you office, you may be traveling, you may be outside, or simply you may be working from home and we'll be talking about how you can utilize EBUS capabilities uh, when you are using SAP uh, ERP systems in this uh, digital age. Let's get started then. First of all, I'd like to uh, start this uh, panel discussion uh, by introducing our company, Beam3 International, who we are and what we do. As BIM3 International, we are an enterprise software maker since 1998. We are based in New York. In a sense, we help companies simplify their business processes and help them adapt digital transformation. Our mission is to basically simplify business processes of every single company in the world, one at a time. That is what we believe in and that's how we operate through these ends. We are very active in various business communities. As you see on the screen, these are some, some of them. Uh, we are very close to manufacturing communities, uh, finance, service, distribution, banking, uh, quality management uh, communities, and many other communities that we are close with, and we are looking forward to further our relationship. Uh, I also like to let you know that we have an educational internship program called University of Industry International. We basically uh, help university students learn about pre-sales engineering as well as software engineering. And that is a very popular uh, we run our internship program remotely. Uh, as Gintry International, International, we are a group of companies and we have global presence as you see on the map. Uh, we are based in Europe. Also, we are active in Europe as well as Middle East and Asia. As a group, we are about 200 people. We are a growing organization. We are very active in various ERP ecosystems, as you see on the screen, I listed, listed them. Uh, SAP is one of them. Also, uh, speaking of uh, quality management uh, earlier, uh, we are also certified. We are ISO 9001 certified, as well as ISO 2701 certified. These certifications basically uh, mean that we have policies and procedures in place. We have a quality management system in place. So every single time we deploy a project towards our product, we are always uh, aim for the highest quality of outcome and customer satisfaction as well as the main system certification in place. Since 1998, we have developed this core product, EBA Systems and Ensemble. EBA, we'll talk more about it today, which is also an SAP certified solution. Uh, EBA is an enterprise level electronic business automation platform. It has a powerful workflow engine supported by document management, records management module capture, OCR module, and dashboard module. Uh, with the help of EVA, you can digitize any of your business processes, and you can run them remotely, even from home. And we'll talk more in detail about EVA. Uh, we have been as an enterprise-level asset maintenance facility with an energy management software. It helps companies manage their machinery, equipment, cars, trucks, lease properties, buildings, to manage maintenance, uh, as well as uh, performance and uh, asset life cycle of the I said. Uh, what I mean by maintenance is periodic, uh, preventive, and predictive maintenance. By the way. And finally, we have QDMS as our quality, risk, audit, and compliance management software that helps companies comply with many different quality uh, management standards as well as regulatory, uh, regulatory standards as well. Uh, quality management standards such as ISO 9001, HPF, or DRT, for the industry, AS9100 in aerospace, or uh, IAT. Uh, 16949 for, for example, automobile industry, automotive industry, also 
uh, if you have a medical device in the ISO 13485, it's very common, you can manage the orders with DMS. Um, uh, as for uh, regulations, FDA uh, requirements, for example, you can comply uh, with QDMS. Any local, state, or federal requirements that you need to comply, you need to document, you need to manage, you also uh, use QDMS for those purposes as well. And finally, we have Ensemble as our uh, business process uh, management uh, and business performance management software. With the help of Ensemble, you can design your intelligent business process. You can do modeling in an intelligent way. And we can also manage your performance, uh, performance management. You can perform also performance management of the company with the help of Ensemble in the environment. And finally, we have contract management solutions uh, that helps companies manage their contracts digitally. As we all know, contracts are uh, paper-oriented uh, activities. So with the help of contract management solution, uh, you can manage your contracts digitally with no need of paper. Also, it has uh, bucket sign uh, capabilities, and you can manage your uh, documents and contracts. Also, you can sign them with the help of uh, bucket sign uh, as well. Uh, on this slide, you can see how many projects we deployed uh, by the end of last year, uh, beginning of uh, 1998, I must say. Uh, and we, as you see, we have uh, deployed many different projects. Uh, it also shows how many customers we have, more and less. We have, as you see, thousands of customers, and we have millions of professional users. Today, we'll be talking about EBA, our electronic uh, business automation platform. So when we look at EBA, we have more than 500 corporate customers, more than one and a half million professional users, and we have automated more than 50 businesses on EBA. So we have come a long way and more to go, more to do, as we know it. And we are very excited today to share information about EBA, its capabilities, and how it can help you manage your business processes remotely, even if you are working from home in the face of COVID-19. Uh, historically, we are coming from enterprise markets. That's why we have a lot of enterprise level customers. Uh, on the screen, we have, uh, we've been working with 3M, Ford, Bridgestone, uh, also we have customers in aerospace industry as you see uh, on the on the screen, so we have many different customers in uh, different uh, industries. Okay, great. So uh, I just wanted to introduce our company to you and share some information with you on a high level about who we are and uh, and what we do. Very important uh, to start the uh, webinar. Uh, so let's talk about how to work remotely. And from our point of view, it starts with digital transformation. That is actually where uh, it goes, and that's actually the foundation of working from home remotely. So what is digital transformation? Digital transformation is adapting your organization, strategy, and culture to capture opportunities enabled by technology. That is a, actually a very straightforward definition, which is also my favorite, uh, as I found it. And there are, of course, benefits of digital transformation. But what are they? What are they? Um, if you have a digital transformation, uh, you can reduce costs. You can be more competitive in the marketplace. You can increase customer satisfaction. You can increase market share. So these are uh, major uh, benefits of digital transformation. And when we look at nowadays, uh, actually, uh, time change a lot. Things change a lot. Time change. Uh, Comparison to early this year. And it started easier in 2020. Everything was great. There was almost no, we didn't much hear much about COVID 19. We were going uh, conferences, trade shows, uh, meetings, and things changed since uh, started, uh, with COVID 19. So that's basically how we are looking at it. And um, during COVID 19 and COVID, and after COVID 19, our business life will be 
changing even uh, further than uh, what we are expecting. Uh, in that sense, there is going to be some mean normal, right? Uh, some of them we are experiencing already, and some of them will experience even more, even after COVID-19. So uh, because of COVID-19 crisis, companies now understand the importance of risk management. Uh, so right now, the risk assessment is more important than before, as we have been all experienced. So when it's a risk assessment, risk management, that may be from the point of process management, process or environment, or health and safety, or IT risk management, for example. Or believe it or not, from pandemic and disease point of view, how to uh, assess risk, it becomes more and more important. And then uh, right after assessing the risk, we need to put together contingency plan, or plan, plural, perhaps, in terms of what we found in the consideration. Uh, and then based on the contingency, contingency plan, we need to train employees, our team members, we need to share the information with them uh, against all the risks, uh, possibility of risks, the severity of risks, and about contingency. And what we believe is uh, nowadays almost there is no business trips actually taking place because of COVID-19. And even after COVID-19, business trips will be scrutinized. That's what we are expecting uh, coming after COVID-19 crisis. Right now, and even after COVID-19, remote work will be more and more important as well to our projection. Right now, we are experiencing, experiencing it, and it will be even more uh, after COVID-19. So uh, as a response to COVID-19, our uh, solution to this crisis is actually EBA, our Electronic Business Automation Club, which is an enterprise level platform to help you adopt digital transformation Help you digitize your business processes, manage your documents, records, uh, as well as collaborate with your team members and share the information uh, that you have with your team members to get things done, performed uh, remotely, even if you are working from home. So let's talk about uh, EBA a little bit. EBA has a very modern technology, state of the art. It has modern web service APIs available to connect other software solutions. So you can have an integrated management system. It is already connected with SAP ERP systems, also ready to connect with any CRM system, any switching execution system, IoT devices, or a point of sale solution, for example, so that you can pull and push data easily, and you can avoid uh, double entry. EBA has four modules, uh, workflow module, like your management, capture, dashboard, as well as uh, also uh, when we say dashboard, we also we are actually different exit to dashboard modules. So these four modules that you see on the screen, these are the uh, backbones of remote work, digital work. And um, these modules are independent from each other, and they can also work together based on your needs of your uh, company. Workflow module has a very modern work and drop technology. You can design your forms based on your business processes, as you see on the screen. That's an example of external screen form. And once you uh, design your form with drag and drop, no coding needed, that the uh, EBA is a low cost platform. Then you can design the uh, workflow that you have. And, and you can, that's how you can actually design your uh, business process and you can, you can digitize them. Uh, EBA is a permission based system, so not everyone can see everything. You can only give permission to certain team members to, to access certain data, which is very important. It has an audit trail, so you know who's done what, that's very important. Uh, it has uh, also notifications available. Uh, there are many different uh, business processes you can design on eBus workflow engine. I list some of them, vendor management, vendor approval, growth control, expense management, HR onboarding, offboarding, training, purchasing management, sales and marketing management, CRM management, contract management, and so on. So we can actually have an even longer list, but I just wanted to give you some ideas as to best practices of EBA while you are working from home. And you need to pair from team members from a work office. Uh, workflow, uh, workflow management is also supported by document and records management margin. With the help of document management margin, you can manage your documents. Documents may be your PDF files, Word files, uh, CAD files, audio files, or video files. So, so document concept is much wider than the particular single. You can store your documents on this module, you can design them, you can make a search. When I say search, what I mean is you can make, uh, actually, you can perform search by the content of the document, not only by the file, name of the file, 
Uh, it has check-in and check-out features. If you have the version of your documents, you can also uh, enjoy the benefits of those functionalities. And it has also office add-on capabilities. Capture module has OCR engine underneath, so you can automate your business process, such as accounts payable automation, accounts receivable automation, order process, payment process. All these can be automated with the type of capture module thanks to OCR engine. And finally, we have executive dashboard to help you have KPIs uh, available on the on the on the modules on the dashboards within uh, the scope of the module as usual reported. So you can have a chart, pie charts, bar charts, maps, and other visual tools to uh, monitor KPIs of KPIs of your company. Data can come from EBA, but data can come from any other source, can be SAP or any other ERP system, CRM system, so on. Uh, EBA is a certified SAP solution. This is a, a screenshot of the EBA's page in SAP's marketplace, so you can also visit and have more information if you like. Uh, well, I'd like to invite my colleague, Tamla, and some will be demonstrating workflow modules and images on EBA. And you can see EBA index how you can use the role to run the business, your work, your performance activities with the of EBA, wherever you are. Tam, if you are ready, please take over. Thank you very much. Is sent out and waiting for someone approval. So those will be shown here and you can keep tracking the status of your request and um, that you have sent out or that is coming to you. As I mentioned, we can digitize uh, the business process as a, uh, by using EBA. And these are all the example that we put together and you can see the flexibility and capability of EBA. We can digitize any business process for any industry. You can see right here, we have HR um, sample process uh, and also the business process for aviation industry. Example for uh, quality control, administrative, uh, and also uh, like creating purchase order. So those can be digitized as um, a digitized process on EVA with a unique workflow behind it. Also, EVA integrate with SAP, which means we can pull the data or push data between two, um, two system. And I will show you one of the example here is the SAP master data. So right here, we can use EBA in order to create a new material and render. And after you uh, fill in the form and finish the process on EBA, all the data will be pushed to, this, uh, to SAP. So for example, I'm going to create a new material. And you will see a form like this that we digitized on EBA. And we have a unique workflow behind this form, which is we will send it to the accounting and then to the operation after that, those will be, um, the system will push the data to SAP. And now I'm going to create a new one and you can fill in the form Please keep in mind that you can always update the form design on this app that you can see on EVA by using EVA Studio, what we call, that's a tool that we digitize all the form. And right here, you can uh, pick and choose an existing material record and those records are coming from SAP. For example, I'm going to choose uh, Sunny Sunny and all the related information will be filled automatically in the system since we capture all the information from SAP. There we go. And you will see the material type uh, and also the group, they are um, the same as the Sunny Sunny record in SAP. And then we can change the name, for example, uh, let's say this is um, July 29, like this, we will update the name and then we can attach any related document and you can add them to uh, from your local drive. And you can pick and choose uh, the document which are coming from the uh, document management module, which I will share more information with you in a minute. So you can pick and choose um, all the, uh, the documents here, 
for example, I'm going to get one off, get into one, and then attach it along with this, um, with this document and put uh, the description on it and click OK. So that we are now attached to documents here. For example, you can attach your contract or um, for the material you can attach your, uh, for example, PR or PO or invoice. And also right here, you can add your comment while you're filling your form before you put this into the workflow. Like you can put your comments here, say this is a um, comment and then save it. And your comment will be saved in this table with also your username, which is administrator, my name, my username. And next we can send this out and it will be sent into the workflow. And sent, uh, by the design of the workflow, it will be sent to the accounting department, which is Brian. And also to this workflow, you can always update it uh, if needed. For example, if you want to add uh, one more approval in between, you're more than welcome to do so by using the workflow studio, as I mentioned. And the flow history will tell you the status and also the time that you send up your request when it's got approved. So this is the audit trail that you can keep tracking all the activities um, regarding your process or regarding your request. And now I'm going to switch my account to Brian which uh, going, I'm going to approve the request that I've, I have just sent out. So on the homepage, I can find the request right here, the material master data. And what you will see is the data or the form that I've just sent out. So this is the one I've just sent. You can tell from the date, that is today. And I can open this up and reveal all the information in there. And after that, I can, uh, and as I'm now, uh, as the responsible person in accounting department, so that I can also see the accounting information on this form, which is not allowed it for uh, the, in, uh, the requester and also for uh, the next approver as well. But anyway, now I'm going to save and continue and put this into the next step. And now this request has been sent to the next uh, next step, which means it has been sent to the operations department, which will be the final approver as Yuri, and I'm going to log in as Yuri. So you can see now I'm switching, uh, switching between different users' accounts because I log in as the administrator. As I mentioned in the beginning, Eva is a permission-based system so that uh, not everyone or not every users have these features in their account. So now I'm going to log in as Yuri. And what I'm going to do is approve this request. And it, this, all this information will be sent to SAP after my approval. So I can find uh, the request here on my home screen. And I can open find all the record and open this up. Now again, I can review the form or put any comment if there's any. And also you can, uh, as I am in the operations uh, department so that I can see the information about the MRP. But now I cannot see the accounting information because that is not my fields. So that uh, we can limit what the users can see on the business process. What's the next is I'm going to save and continue and this uh, information or this information will be sent to SAP. And you will see the flow history now. Uh, one more, okay. So not yet, actually we have one more layer in, the, uh, in this approval flow, which is uh, we are waiting for, you can see from the flow history is waiting for Siri. So Siri can approve it. So I'm going to switch my account to Siri as the final step. Switch my account. 
and then open it. And I can switch to a Siri, which is Siri Dominic. And at this point, I can uh, open again the request. And regarding this notification, you can find it on your homepage. And also you, can, you will receive an email notification once there is any task is assigned to you. So that is make sure you will not miss any important tasks uh, on EBA. So now I can open my form, reveal all the information and then approve it. And now uh, Eva is, has been sent all the information to SAP and we can find our information right there. Okay. And all your documents or all your um, data will be sent to um, an archive of Eva so that you can anytime retrieve all your record. For example, like in this SAP master data, and you can find all uh, the material archive, or the material that we have sent to SAP. And right here, you will see all of those, like uh, Sunny Sunny. And then we can open this up, and you will see a log, like uh, that it will show you the material number that we generate in SAP. We have um, a mass uh, material archive, and it shows you how it is look like, and also the number that you created and fit SAP accordingly. And also similar to uh, creating a new material, you can create a new render by using EVA. So you can see a similar form that we can decide uh, the interface or your form for you anytime by using the uh, workflow studio. And there is a workflow behind this form as well. So um, it's look a little different with uh, creating a new material. And as I mentioned, there's always a unique workflow behind a different uh, form that we put together on EVA. And uh, as I mentioned, there's a lot of uh, more sample um, process and feel free to contact us uh, in order if you uh, want to see more and in detail of different uh, sample process that we have on EVA. In addition, uh, I want to show you is the dashboard module, which is a tool to visualize all your real-time data. So for example, uh, we have a maintenance administration panel and uh, all this real-time data can come from various uh, source, like uh, from Excel file, from SAP, for example, or from uh, EVA process that we put together uh, on EVA. And your data will be shown in a table, in a scorecard, in a pie chart, or in a bar chart. So considering the top left one is different locations or departments that you have in your company, and in this dashboard, you can pick and choose one, and all the real-time data will change accordingly based upon the command that you make. It's helped you to keep tracking your performance and also KPI of your company. And uh, it's helped you um, on analyzing uh, and planning any future action in your company. At last, we have document management module, which allows you to uh, manage your document and even support uh, different document type, like uh, your you can upload your invoice or your contract, or for example, and also training material or notice so that you can uh, manage your document in uh, the library and also in your folder. And able to support different file format like uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, image, video, and audio. So you don't need any other um, applications or softwares in order to read your document that you upload. And instead, your document will be shown in the built-in browser of EVA, which we call it uh, BIM Server. For example, now I'm opening a PDF file and it is shown in the built-in browser. And I can read my documents here. Also, I can drop some notes and attach with my document saying this is a note so that uh, everyone who, uh, who re is reading this document will find there is a note attached to 
and you, I can find all the version of this document as long as I have the permission. And in order to keep your document insecure, you can manage the permission of, um, of the users or user groups based on their role, position, profession, department or group. So now you can see right here, we can manage the permission like uh, downloading the document, uh, printing it, the action like uh, share it as an external link or by email or deleting the document. This is how we can make sure um, um, your documents are insecure on the system. So uh, if they're not supposed to do, uh, for example, like delete the document, then they, uh, we can manage the permission right here. And also with the permission, we can download the document, send it through uh, it by email, send, and send this as an external link. Uh, for example, like uh, with the third party, like our contractor, supplier, then they can click the link and read the document only. What they will see on the system is that document, but not the main menu or any business process. At last, all the activities will, uh, of the users will be saved as a log of, um, in EVA, so that we, you can find this uh, on the trail, for example. Uh, we can show this history page and see all the action that the users carry out in the system against this document. So this audit trail will help you to find the usage of the users and also are they following the policy um, in, of our company? Like uh, the users uh, should read this document like every day, they have to open this and read this and follow the, all the steps that you list in the document. But for some reason, this user, um, didn't log into the system or read this document, then you can see what is happening. And in order to make sure all the employees, they are uh, following the uh, policy of the company. And also by, this, uh, by reviewing this history page, we can find if there is any suspicious action is occurred in the system. For example, if one user send it uh, multiple times, uh, send this, documents out by email, then we can find this under this history page. And uh, now you can see uh, I am using my web browser uh, to connect to EVA, which um, also EVA has its own native mobile application. So which means you can use EVA on your handheld device and uh, the mobile application, it is available for uh, Android and iOS device so that you can download EVA on your, uh, from the Google Play Store and also uh, from uh, App Store. And I'm going to put the screen, on the screen is my smartphone, uh, which is running as an Android device. So let me show this to you. Okay, so this is my smartphone. And uh, after you log into eBay Mobile, you can see uh, all the notification and also the request for approval right here. And on the top left, I can open my main menu and see all the applications that I have on uh, in the system. So for example, like to the HR, we have an expense declaration form and I can create a new record. So this is one of an example that we put together for HR purpose. And you can see right here is the exact same form, which I will show you on my mobile application and also in the web browser in the net. Okay, right here, as you can see, we have the expense declaration form, which you can manage on your handheld device. Like you can file your uh, expense declaration on your, uh, like the total amount or enter the type and expense uh, type, for example, like after you have, you had a lunch with your uh, prospect or your partner, then you can put this right here for expense declaration before you forget, like uh, the expense amount, like uh, $70. And then you can put the description here, like uh, having uh, lunch with um, Sam, for example. And then 
if there's any attachment, then you can add this right here and you can put this into your form. So this is how we can manage um, the workflow and connect to Eva on your handheld device, like a smartphone or tablet. And uh, right here you, can, you will see is, uh, you can find the exact same form on Eva. Like I'm going to put one example here using the same one is the expense declaration. So the, this is the one that you can see on the web browser. So that you can manage from your web browser or from your smartphone or tablet. So you can enter all the information and put this into the workflow. Another example that we have here for HR purposes is our overtime requests, for example. So all the, uh, you can fill in the form and put this into your um, workflow, like um, the date and how many times that you will work uh, as overtime, like three hours, and the reason like uh, meeting um, with Sam, let's say, and then put this into the workflow and your request will be sent to the, according to this workflow, to the, time, uh, to the team leader. And all your records will be saved, as I mentioned, uh, in an archive. And we have a reporting tool that allows you to find all your business process, like the one I showed you uh, about say, uh, SAP integration. So anytime you can retrieve all your uh, record in a list on Eva, and all the related information of your form will be shown again on, on your screen. And you can open any attachment that is, that is attached and it, your attachment will be shown in the built-in browser of Eva as known as a film surveyor. So you don't have to download it and save it on your local drive, uh, putting a ROM on your uh, C drive, for example. Actually, you can have one place and manage all your attachment and also your documents by using Eva. This comes to the end of my demonstration. Thank you very much. Sam, thank you very much for your demonstration. Much appreciated. Uh, we come to the question and answer uh, part of our uh, webinar. So uh, let's address those questions one by one, and then uh, we can uh, continue our, our webinar uh, session. Let's see. Uh, right. So uh, I've been receiving uh, questions uh, via chat box in Zoom, also via uh, YouTube, because right now uh, we are live on YouTube, so I'm also receiving some questions on YouTube channel as well. Um, one of the questions I received is uh, about healthcare. Uh, what type of solutions do you have on EBA about healthcare or healthcare industry? Uh, that's a good question. So uh, the, uh, one of the things actually important with healthcare is of course the compliance. So uh, for example, when we look at the um, uh, US marketplace, uh, HIPAA compliance is very important for healthcare. And if we are talking about pharma industry, uh, for example, or medical device industry, then we are talking about APA, CFR Part 11 uh, compliance requirements for safety and security of the data that you have. So first of all, HIPAA is uh, HIPAA compliant and CFR Part 11 compliant, that's important to say. Uh, in terms of uh, healthcare related activities, uh, there are many different things that you can do as per our experience coming from our customers. Some of the applications that we have uh, actually built for our customers is about administrative operations, starting with HR human resources. Some of them can uh, actually demonstrate it during the demonstration. Uh, so also about onboarding, offboarding, uh, overtime uh, requests, uh, as well as uh, training, uh, management, these are typical HR uh, related activities. Also, some of our customers use EVA from the HR point of view. They use EVA as a uh, as an employee uh, test service portal. So an empl employee can get into the system uh, and, uh, for example, read certain documentation, instructions, protocols, procedures, uh, request training, for example, request purchasing. So uh, that is also very common, and that's also uh, applicable in healthcare industry, as we have been, as we have been seeing in various aspects of our healthcare industry. So these, these are administrative. So we are talking about HR, we are talking about purchasing management. Uh, in terms of CRM management, customer relationship or, 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 or patient management, for example, we also have solutions as well for uh, on EBA. Uh, of course, when I say we have solutions, 
we actually develop solutions on it. So that is basically an important point, actually. One of the questions that I receive is about, do you develop the solutions on EBA or you have them ready-made? So that's an important point, which also touches to that, that question as well. So we develop solutions on EBA. So EBA is a platform that's where we actually uh, design the solutions based on your company's hierarchy, expect, expectations, and the way that you are running your business. So that's actually very, very flexible. Uh, there are different, of course, software solutions in the marketplace in terms of software. They can only do so much. And uh, typically, the way that we are looking at it is uh, each company is unique, just like every single person is unique. And from our point of view, every single company uh, actually is unique. So from that point, EBA offers uh, company-specific spe solutions, and we develop it for them. Uh, other than that, for healthcare, uh, it can also be used for uh, managing data in terms of um, product development, clinical trials, uh, patient uh, data management, uh, also appointment management, for example, if you're in, uh, if you're in healthcare organization. Uh, so there are many different uh, ways to use EBA in healthcare industry. That's a very good question. If you'd like to, of course, uh, speak uh, deeper in these conversations, we keep our contact information on the screen. You can send us an email and we can schedule time uh, with you so that we can talk uh, more in detail about your questions and to make mention in your, in your question. Much appreciated. Um, let's see if there is any other questions. So uh, is EVA cloud-based or is it a server-based solution? So um, EVA works both on cloud and on-premise servers. So you have a good place to hold uh, so It depends on what you have available. Uh, you can, we can deploy EVA uh, either on your cloud account or on your server. That is basically your call. In terms of performance, in, in terms of accessibility to the to the system, there is no difference. The reason being, EVA is web based, so regardless of uh, deploying, installing on a cloud environment or on premise server environment, you can access EVA from anywhere. The web based architecture that it has, what it means is um, uh, you can access EVA with a web browser. That, that's all you need. To do. So that's uh, very practical. There is a question about mobile app. Is this Android mobile app? So uh, the uh, mobile app that Sam uh, demonstrated is um, Android and iOS uh, compatible. So you can download Eva's mobile application from the App Store, either from your um, iPhone or any of your Android devices. And you can basically uh, log into the system as per your uh, configuration and username and password. IOS and Android native mobile. Uh, let me see. Uh, another question that I receive is about uh, document document management. What is the limit of document that I can keep on document management margin? Uh, so there is no limit. Actually, limit is your infrastructure. So let's say we install uh, EBA on your server or on your cloud account. Uh, if you have space, if you have this space, you can uh, go to the limit of your basically your, your infrastructure, your disk space. From EBA's point of view, there is no limit that, that, that we can tell. So you can keep as many documents as you like, uh, both on document management part, also the records management part, and uh, that's basically up to your infrastructure, space, and your server. Um, uh, also, you know, I'm not sure if you mentioned it earlier, uh, so the difference between document management uh, functionalities and records management functionalities. Uh, basically, if a document that you are using is a live document that you are using on a daily basis, you are versioning it, you are sharing it with your team members, and so on, you keep that document in the document management mark. The moment that you are done with that document, and you, don't, you won't use it anymore on a daily basis, you won't make any changes, then you move it to the course management module, and you can also put a retention on it. So you can tell Eva that you keep this document for the next five years, and after five years, then you can just basically erase the document from, my, from the system. So that is an important um, Another question is about the modules. What is the minimum number of modules that I can have of EBA? So there is no actually, there is no minimum. Uh, so there is workflow module, document management, resource module, resource manager module, capture module, and mm, a dashboard module. So please, you can get any of the modules you like. There is no minimum uh, requirement. Depends on your need and depends on the solution that you need. By you may just need to just 
cost no margin, perhaps. Uh, if, if you just need vacuum management uh, capabilities, you just need vacuum management margin, or maybe a combination of both. So it depends on uh, uh, solution that you are uh, planning to manage on the system. Uh, so uh, one last question is about cloud versus server. Uh, which one is more common among your customers, cloud-based uh, EBA installation or server-based? Uh, well, actually, um, so the feature is cloud, as we know. So it is changing towards the cloud. Still, there are a lot of companies using server-based uh, installation. That's a fact. So we go along with the customer. It also depends on the uh, industry. Uh, some of our customers feel more comfortable having the server uh, information on site. Uh, some of them, they are moving it to cloud. So uh, that is basically the choice that you need to make that uh, based on your particular features, your, your preferences. Either way, EBA works on in both both environments. So that's another thing of view. Uh, let's see if I have any other questions. Looks like uh, looks like we address all the questions. Okay, that's great. Uh, before uh, we end this webinar, I'd like to make a couple of announcements. I may. Uh, first of all, uh, we have a new uh, product coming up, a Synergy Content Services platform, that's a cloud native solution that the cloud native platform, let me rephrase, cloud native platform that actually we develop. So uh, it is coming up soon, we are releasing it soon. Uh, we are very excited about this. Synergy is basically a platform to help you uh, automate your business process in a cloud environment. This is a totally cloud solution. And and uh, it will basically help you uh, design your uh, business processes, manage your documents, uh, uh, manage your business processes in a cloud environment. And uh, it will be available uh, soon. Right, I mean, uh, something new for you, for you to know. Share with you, announcement. Also, uh, I'd like to invite you to our YouTube channel. We have a very active YouTube channel, as some of you are fortunate to on YouTube by now, right? Uh, and we invite you to sub subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have uh, weekly webinars, we have uh, product, uh, introductory product videos available uh, on YouTube, and we keep releasing it actually, with different ones on the channel. So we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. More than welcome. And finally, we have an event break page. Some of you have just already today's uh, webinar. Uh, you can see our executive webinar lineup on our event break page. And you can see which ones actually. Uh, interest you can register and uh, you can see our executive webinar lineup in terms of coming weeks and coming months we have pretty much every single week we have uh, executive webinars uh, about diff different subjects some of them are about uh, remote work some of them are about quality and compliance management sometimes we talk about asset management and maintenance management performance management is very popular nowadays because of COVID-19 uh, so uh, that is also something that we have uh, Scheduled in our webinar lineup. There are more to come, more to come. Definitely. So we are more than welcome to this uh, event right page. Um, I'd like to thank you for your time and thank you for your interest. Uh, we enjoyed this webinar session. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing you in our coming webinar session. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we have our contact information on the screen. So if you have any questions, if you'd like to continue this conversation, and if you'd like to schedule a one to one meeting, please. Feel free to send us an email and we'll schedule them with you and we'll keep on in the subject of business automation and uh, working more in the safe environment. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I'm looking forward to seeing you in our coming webinar session. Thank you and have a nice day.